Hey guys, this is Nick from Arcade Hunters, and uh, as you can see from behind me, my posters aren't up. And that's because the week after I came home from Fun Spot, I ended up doing a really hard cleaning here in my room and did uh, the walls with a brand new coat of paint. If I was using a better camera, you could see it's kind of like a light shade of blue and rather than the crappy white color that I had in it before. And what I plan on doing before I put the posters back up on the wall, and I also have some animation cells, I want to do, um, I have some old arcade marquees that I bought from a guy that, uh, actually the Tri-County Flea Market, uh, the guy that helps uh, run the place, is actually selling off some marquees that he had, so I got about like 10 marquees for a really good price from him. So, uh, Brian, if you're watching this, thanks a lot. And hopefully we'll make it the Peter Pan game soon in Bayside, Queens. So, pretty much what's going to happen this week on the site. I had wanted to do some Street Fighter 4 stuff, but my 360 got the Red Ring of Death on Thursday. So, no Xbox 360. It's on its way to Texas to be fixed. Go Microsoft. So, what's going to be going on this month from Arcade Hunters? It's Street Fighter Month. And I cannot wait for Super Street Fighter 4. I've been watching a lot of videos. I saw the guys at West Coast Warzone, Justin Wong, you know, all the other guys over there, Alex Valle, Combo Fiend, all those great guys that I love watching. You know, those guys make it look great. And also been watching a lot of God's Garden on YouTube. If you guys have to check out some really good Street Fighter videos, check out the guys over at God's Garden. What I'm going to be doing this month is Street Fighter home port reviews. And trust me when I say I've got enough Street Fighter games to last me a very long time. So we're going to get right to the first video is going to be actually attached on this. It's my collection of Street Fighter games. So come along with me and we'll look at my Street Fighter collection. Alright guys, here it is. This is my little Street Fighter collection of games that I've accumulated over the years. We're going to start at the top and work our way from the left to the right. And I'm going to show you everything I got. Now here is the first of the marquees that I got from the sale. This is a Street Fighter 2 marquee, but on the back it's Double Dragon 3 the Rosetta Stone. I have no idea why they just put it over. It kind of feels almost like, kind of like a cloth, almost like a poster. But over here, of course, or should I say, of course, is Street Fighter the movie. God bless you all, Julie. Rest well. I miss him with JCVD, and I had to have this just for the pure cheese factor. I mean, I will not get rid of this. I have to have that up somewhere in the room, along with the, the you know, I shouldn't say the original, but the kind of the one that started the boom for Street Fighter 2. So I'm going to start with the earliest games over in the collection. I've got the Super, the Super Nintendo port of Street Fighter 2, Turbo, Super Street Fighter 2, and get ready until you see this, because, I mean, I can't believe they even made this. This is uh, Alpha 2 on the Super Nintendo. I, I never knew a Super Nintendo game had to load. And you'll see it when you get to it. Now, this is one of the games that I got when I first got my PlayStation, was EX2 Plus Alpha. And a lot of people have kind of like a love-hate relationship with the EX series. I actually really liked it. You know, they had Sakura and stuff like that, and uh, Doctor and Dark, and Skullamania. Great game. Now over here we have Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo that I got from Micro Center or Microplay and they don't no longer exist for $14.95. And as soon as I saw that, you know, I just picked it up. Puzzle Game of the Year. Yes, I would agree. Really great game. Now I have one of the two PlayStation uh, Street Fighter collections. This is the first one. There was another one. I'm not sure what the second one had on it. You guys can comment on what it has. But this one has Super Street Fighter 2, Super Turbo, and it has Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold. Or if you're in Japan, Street Fighter Zero 2 Alpha. But, you know, I would say Zero 2 is pretty much my favorite game. And this one just adds in, it says more animation, more moves, modes of play, and Cammy's in the game as a secret character. And you can use M. Bison, comes out and does a Psycho Crusher for one of our specials. Now, over here, we're going to start with the Dreamcast, one of my absolute favorite systems of all time. I love my Dreamcast. I don't have the cover for it, but this is Alpha 3, the Psycho Dojo version with all the extra characters that the arcade version did not have. Um, over here is Capcom vs. SNK. I have Capcom vs. SNK 2 on the way. I've actually been playing a bootleg of it. I shouldn't say that, but, you know, I played it a lot in the arcade, both versions. I couldn't believe when this game actually came out and they did finally 
put both uh, uh, franchises together. Now we're starting over here with Marvel vs. Capcom. What I really wish I could do is get the get a four-player match going. My friends and I, um, w one time we uh, did actually a uh, four-player game with a tag team. I'm telling you, if you got four friends together and you got four controllers for your Dreamcast, play this game. You'll love it. You cannot talk about without. Yes, it's Marvel, baby. And the arcade that I played this at was not kind enough in, to put the codes in. Good old Sports Plus over in Lake Grove. So pretty much every time you went, it was a new experience that you didn't know what characters you were going to see. And I had these both together. I got this uh, this pad over here. I've got uh, Street Fighter 3 Double Impact. I didn't, I, I'm still trying to get a real copy of Third Strike. I cannot find it. But this is a Japanese um, Axis controller from uh, Japan. And I saw this sitting in the counter, and it was like, it had a $19 price tag on it. So I just said, I'll take it. You know, for most, you know, of the Dreamcast games, I'll use my Green Goblin. But, you know, this is pretty cool when you don't want to you know, lunk around a stick and it does work really good. It's better than using a regular Dreamcast controller by far to play fighting games. Now we're going to get the PS2. I got this for $5 and it pretty much shows. It's Street Fighter X3. Pretty crappy game, you know. I wish it was done better. You'll see in the review. It's been a while since I played it so I can't really get into detail. This is pretty much one of my favorites. It's one of the best deals in gaming you can get. And this is the Alpha Anthology. And this has six games. So it has Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Alpha 2 Gold, Alpha 2 3, and when you beat it, you get an arranged mode that pretty much has every character from every version, kind of like Hyper Street Fighter 2, and it, yes, it does include Super Gem Fighter Minimix, so, or as I like to call it, Pocket Fighter. So, really good collection right there. Now, this is the North American version. I know the guys over in Europe got screwed with this. This is the anniversary collection for Street Fighter, the 15th anniversary. This includes a cut of the Street Fighter animated movie, of course, without the Chun-Li shower scene. This has uh, Hyper Street Fighter 2, the anniversary edition that we actually played a Tokyo game action that lets you play as every version of every Street Fighter character. And, of course, you have to have your Street Fighter 3rd Strike. Check it out, y'all. 3rd Strike, y'all. I don't care, but great game. You cannot have this. You're a Street Fighter fan. You have to have your third strike, and you get every pretty much almost every character in Street Fighter 2 history. Now, these games you have to have if you're a arcade fan and you love classic Capcom, you have to have the Capcom Collection 1 and 2. Now, on Capcom Collection 1, they have three versions of Street Fighter 2. They have regular, champion, and turbo, or in Japan, I like to call it Dash. And they're all really good versions of the game. They have, uh, right there, one of my favorites. Uh, shout out to Triforce over at the Empire. That is, um, can't believe I forgot the name. <laughs> Forgotten Worlds. Yes, Forgotten Worlds. I'm going to get creamed for that. I can't believe I forgot that. Ghouls and Super Ghouls and Ghosts is on it. 1942, a lot of great games. Now on uh, Volume 2, they have Street Fighter 1 that you can't really see on the package. Um, uh, Echo Fighters, I love that game and uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo with a really good introduction by Seth Killian. So if you guys are kind of like, you want to get into Street Fighter, you want to find out like the beginnings of it, definitely try these two, you'll love them. Now uh, for the Xbox, we have uh, SBC Chaos from SNK Playmore. Didn't really care for this game, pretty much because the boss characters in the game really, really broke the game. I mean, playing as Mars people, you will get the crap handed out of you with that. But I really did like uh, Violent Ken. I like the evil version of him. Now we're going to get over to Street Fighter 4. Unfortunately, cannot play this, so there it is. I'm sorry. And as you've already seen, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom with Wii Wi-Fi. For some reason, it's not punishing the cheaters, like I said. I really wish they would fix that. Now I'm going to end it off with one of my favorite games, not Capcom made, but old SNK. And this is Match the Millennium. Match of the Millennium for the Neo Geo Pocket Color, right there. And I would say one of my absolute favorite games of all time. I mean, it's limited in what they could do, but I mean, they pulled off such a great fighting game. I would actually pick this over Capcom vs. SNK 1 and 2. And that's not a joke, because I really love this game. And you have to play it. I wish I could do a review of it, but it's going to be impossible using that thing. And uh, I know I could use an emulator, but I don't want to bother with that. So this is my little Street Fighter collection over here. Hope you enjoyed it. 
and we will be back and I'm going to start off with the Super Nintendo games. So uh, check back in soon. Bye.